Did you know that there is only four days left in the holiday giveaway? That is all. Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and very early this morning, or at least in my time, we got a really cool update regarding the upcoming Hawaii map for Unturned on Mookie and Games Too Much's blog website. This is super awesome. Unfortunately, I actually didn't even know of this until like now, or I guess like an hour ago, because like their website doesn't have any kind of like RSS feed or anything where I can set up like an email notification. So really, uh, I don't really have any kind of way of finding out about these new posts. So if you happen to notice these posts come out before I do, be sure to tweet me uh, and I'll be able to get these videos out a little quicker. Now, regarding the content of this post, it is really cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Now, it doesn't nearly have as much information as the last one, which is sort of expected since it isn't like the grand reveal post, but it does have some new pictures and GIFS, I'm not gonna actually say that, I'm, not, I'm gonna stay out of that, of exciting new vehicles and locations. So let's check it out. Now to start, Games talks about how the map is largely coming together now with most of the furnishings completed, uh, but from here on out, they plan on taking advantage of some of the new features Nelson has added to the level editor in the past few weeks. For example, like the new tiles system or the new ability to punch holes in the ground to create caves and tunnels and things like that. They say that they want to take those features, um, apply it to the Hawaii map to really make the map something special. I think we can all assume that this really means a lot of caves and underground locations, and I'm super excited for that. Also, Games mentions how they might be able to start talking about release dates in the next update post, so stay tuned. Now, regarding the caves, Games attached a picture of one example of exciting stuff. Here is that picture. You can see how Nelson's new terrain system allows them to punch holes in the ground to create a cave entrance like this. Now, this cave appears to be on the top of a hill. You can see where the uh, hill kind of leads downwards towards the top of the image, and then there's just this huge hole that leads into seemingly a very fancy paradise cove or something with an island and a beach and trees inside this cave. This is really, really cool. It does look a little off-putting with the lighting system because it doesn't look very dark down there, but I mean, this appears to be an entrance to a massive underground area that's completely separate from the stuff up there. That is really, really cool. Now that's just the cave system. Unfortunately, we only got one picture of that, but I'm sure there will be multiple caves all around the Hawaii map. We don't want to spoil all of them. Now, if you do remember the last Hawaii update, there was some talk about a cruise liner being added to the map, and this made everyone, including me, very excited. Now, it won't be drivable, obviously, but it will be a cruise liner nonetheless. I mean, we're talking about a cruise ship here. That is super exciting. I don't know about you, but just the, just the thought of a huge ship that has multiple floors and is basically a map of itself with its own rooms and restaurants, casinos, swimming pools, all kinds of stuff in this floating boat. That gets me pretty excited, and in today's post, Games is excited to show us some more stuff regarding this cruise liner, including pictures, and not just one, or two, but three pictures of this cruise ship, and it looks awesome. Here is the first one, and man, does this thing look cool. Uh, but we're just starting. I mean, you see, without anything to reference this object off of, it almost looks a little tiny at first. I mean, look at it. I mean, it looks a little tiny, but look again. Look closer and look at the windows on the side. Those are windows, and I'm sure you could fit your character through those windows on the side, and on the front, those are huge entrances. I mean, really, you have to consider how big this thing is, and don't worry, we'll get there. The second image is the cruise ship next to the Liberator. Look at that, it's huge. It's almost the same size as the Liberator. I would even go as far to say that it's bigger than the Liberator because most of the Liberator is just that big uh, like uh, runway on the top that kind of overhangs the actual uh, walkable parts of the Liberator. And really the Liberator, I think really only has one or two floors. I mean, it has that tower there, but that's really small. This cruise ship here has what appears to be five floors that span the entire cruise ship. You have the bottom floor underneath all the windows and stuff. Then you have this floor with its little railings. And then uh, this middle one, pretty basic, spans across the entire ship. The top-ish, middle-ish one with uh, access to the back deck where it's got all that stuff back there. And then also the top floor with roof access. That 
is a lot of floors. That's five floors. In, in regards to square footage, this has to be the biggest object or the biggest building in all of Unturned. I am super excited to explore this thing. That is going to be awesome. And imagine taking that thing over and making it into your base. You could have in several bases inside of that. I mean, or... Now that I think about it, this could even have NPCs in it. Could be the uh, NPCs of Hawaii. We don't know. We don't know. But it's an awesome cruise ship, and I can tell you that. Now, another picture here is of the backside of the cruise ship. It looks pretty awesome. It does look a little basic at first, but you also have to consider that this will be filled with furnishings. That area right there will probably be filled with, like, lawn tanning chairs, whatever you call those things. Um, I think one thing, I guess, if there were to be some suggestions for improvement, there is kind of an open area right there on the side that looks awfully plain perhaps it could kind of shape inwards further rather than just being a sharp square on the back though i guess that is kind of how cruise ships are maybe i don't know some something there could be needed but other than that this is super super cool now also there's another picture which is kind of the fourth picture i'm not sure if this is the cruise ship or if it's something else i mean if you look at the windows on the back it doesn't seem to match up to anything that we can see on the cruise ship. It is pretty confusing to me. I can't really figure out what it is. And e even the content of the picture itself, it almost looks like a swimming pool, but it's got a fuel tank to the side. And so that why would you put that in a, in a swimming pool? I mean, maybe it's a place of its own or if it's a maintenance engine room thing for the cruise ship. I don't know. It does look really cool. And if that is a part of the cruise ship, you really have to consider that that is inside the cruise ship. And that's, that's just a part of it. That's just how huge that cruise ship is that is going to be awesome now that's really the cruise ship there it's kind of the main meat and potatoes of this whole update post here the cruise liner that everyone has been wondering about i think it's super cool you guys should comment your guys' thoughts down below but there's more the one last thing to top the post off games showed us a final teaser of the things that we can see in the hawaii map with this awesome vehicle that Rain has been working on. This is where he includes the GIF to where you can see this vehicle actually in motion and it actually working. It's very unique. It works both on land and in water. And it's a hovercraft. Yes, it's a hovercraft. It's so awesome. Look at how awesome this thing is. I'm gonna have this GIF repeating as we go on. It has two huge fans on the back propelling the thing around. It has four on the top. Uh, shooting air into the floaty bottom thing. I don't know what you call that thing, but it's what makes it actually hover. It's got two exhaust ports on the top right in front of the uh, cabin area thing. Uh, and then in regards to that cabin area itself, if you look closely, it seems to have four seats on it. So you'll be able to drive around both on land and in water with you and three other pals. That's going to be super cool. Also, they have this shown at nighttime to show off how cool that spotlight is on the top. Look at how bright that thing is. It's super cool because it's a Coast Guard vehicle. I mean, you can also see it's got that orange and black color scheme like all the Coast Guard vehicles will have. Now, this is a nice vehicle to include. In, uh, in that Coast Guard arsenal there. So if you want to use this hovercraft, be sure to go looking around in the Coast Guard locations of Hawaii, wherever they are. Now also quick reminder, last update post, we did get to see a kind of air and water vehicle of which was the Coast Guard helicopter, which has these buoys on the landing gear so that it can land on water. So really these Coast Guard vehicles are gonna be really, really cool. That hovercraft right there, I think is gonna be my favorite. Going on land, going on water, just like the APC, and then also having four seats, which is really all you need. That's awesome. And then having the helicopter where you can land literally wherever you want. Water, land, doesn't matter. This is, this is going to be awesome. We're going to have to definitely check out those Coast Guard locations when the Hawaii map comes out. But really, that pretty much wraps up all that was shown in today's update post. Super cool stuff in here. I cannot wait to see what is coming soon in regards to updates on the Hawaii map. What was your favorite aspect of today's post? I mean, we have the cruise liner location or the new hovercraft vehicle. It's a hard choice for me. I don't, I don't really know. They're both really, really cool. But if you could have one... Be sure to vote on the poll card to the side. Now, Games and the team also wants to thank all of you guys for offering suggestions and feedback. They love reading them and they're listening all the time. So if you have any feedback, be sure to comment it below or use their contact info on their website. Now, also, speaking of the website, I'll have it linked down below for you to check out the full update post as well as the last update post. And then also have access to that contact page. Be sure to check up every few days for new posts, by the way. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, 
make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because we like big boom. Peace out.